In this video I'm going to show you an overview of the room programming editor in APT site. We have mainly four different areas in the room programming editor. The first one is here on the left side, the project navigation tree. Then we have the main working area in the middle. We have the property tab with supporting information to the selected item in the main area. And we have the library on the right side. When we start with the project navigation tree, we see here the controller and the template name indicated. We have here the device configuration. The device configuration shows us an overview of the hardware. So we see the controller and its IOs, also which data points are connected to the particular IO. And we see further down also the PL-Link devices. The BACnet object editor shows a flat list of the BACnet objects in our controller. We have here also filters to get better overviews of the different elements we want to check or we want to see. We have here the room editor and the room segment editor. The room segment editor is the most important one in the room programming um, because it shows you a nice overview about the different IOs connected to it, the different PL-Link devices and the different application functions in your application template. You see here also again the addresses where the points are connected to on the onboard. You can also create here very easy trend and alarms. This we will explain in another video. You can also navigate them into the CFC charts here from the project navigation tree by just double clicking one of the application functions you are entering the CFC plan. The resources folder gives you a nice overview about all the IOs connected to your controller and all the PL-Link devices. In the PL-Link devices you see here also then the different data points attached to it. A short overview of the property tab here. So always if you select something in the main area you are getting uh, the detailed um, properties in the BACnet view, so the full BACnet um, uh, property list. And you have also here the compact view, which gives you then a more compact overview of the most important properties selected in the main area. The library here on the right side, it's the global library. It has uh, elements in which helps you to program your application. Uh, that's our pre these are predefined elements like analog inputs here, which you could use. You have also generic ones um, for your usage. You see also here all the PL-Link devices, which you can add and uh, exchange. And you are also able here to create your own global library, which you then also can reuse on programming of other templates or other controllers.